A fun and easy way to kick your Google Slides presentations up a notch is by using masking of images. Masking images is a fancy way to say you crop them to a shape. The cute puppies in the heart shape on my screen are one example of a masked image. Another uh, idea for masking images is to use a circle or an oval around a portrait. And then here's a fun way to introduce a lesson. This picture of the student was cropped with the circle, but it turned into an oval because of the shape of the image. And then the topic of the lesson for the day is actually in the thought cloud uh, bubble, which that's how that image was cropped. And besides being very fun to use, masking images can definitely make your presentations and your Google Drawings, because it also works in there, have a more polished and professional look. It's easy to mask an image. What you do is first you're going to add that image to your um, presentation or drawing. So I'm going to quickly search the web here, and I'm going to search this time for waterfall. Whoops my fingers on the right key and then I'm gonna look through here and just see I think I'll take this one and I'm going to insert it into my presentation and now that I have it I want to make sure that it stays selected and then I'm going to go up and find the crop tool but instead of cropping it I'm going to notice that when I rest my mouse right there on that drop down arrow it says to mask the image so I'm going to click on that and you'll notice I can choose from any of the shapes. I can choose from arrows. I can choose from the callouts. That's where I found the thought cloud. And you can even use the math symbols. So I'm going to go up here to the shapes and I am going to try uh, this uh, shape here. And uh, I don't think it's as dramatic as I want it to be. So I am going to do it again. And I can come back up here, and let's say this time I want to use the oval. It's the circle, but it turns into an oval because of the shape of my image, and I'm really liking that. So I'm going to stick with that. Um, and what happens is the portions of my image that do not fit in the shape are masked by whatever's on the background. So if I actually click on the crop tool, you can see the entire image, what's being masked, and then what's being shown is in the darker color. Now another thing that I like to do to really enhance an image is maybe add a, a border by clicking on the line tool and just picking a, a width and then maybe picking a color that goes uh, nicely or contrasts with the image, just shows it off a little bit more, makes it pop off the page. And one other one that's a favorite of mine is to have the image selected so my format options are available and I like to come over here and I like to add that drop shadow so it sort of gives it a little bit of a three-dimensional effect on the page so you can try those out as well but the main thing is that when you um, mask your image it's such a fun and easy way to add interest to your slides and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do